Bethesda absolutely shook the world when it came to Xbox. And rumor is, everybody, that that's happening again, that that could be happening again. Super huge news is a major Xbox acquisition just around the corner. It, it might be. I don't believe it. You don't believe it? No, don't oh, believe you're it. a denier. I don't it. I'm a denier. Why are you a denier? Tell me why you're a denier. Well, first, shall we shall we first talk about welcome everybody well, to yeah. the X1 Bros. By the way, this is your positive gaming and Xbox community. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us. For those of you who are in the live stream, welcome. It's been a blast. We actually had the pre-show talking mayonnaise in the pre-show. We were Man. talking mayonnaise. mayonnaise. It was a good old and to- potato batteries. And potato Clock. batteries. Yeah. Potato batteries. Uh, everybody who listens to this, if you are subscribed to us on YouTube and you're wondering, hey, I never get notifications when these guys go live or when they drop a video, make sure you head into YouTube, head to our channel, and hit the bell button, and you got to move it to all. It's probably unpersonalized, which means if you haven't watched this in a while, you don't. we don't pop up. So make sure you hit the notification bell and hit all so that you get all notifications for us whenever we go live and come join us because it's a party. So there's rumors that there's a major X- Xbox acquisition. And the reason that those rumors have existed is because on Twitter, there's a Twitter user by the name of Skullzy TV. And he tweeted out, he said, I'm hearing some crazy rumors regarding another huge potential Microsoft acquisition. I don't want to say any specifics as I don't even know if all this is true yet, but damn, he said. Now, you have got to think to yourself, self, why are we listening to random Twitter Twitter rights out there? Twitteries? Twitteries. Twitter- he, do, he does have, uh, he does have some, some clout. The man has some cojones goes. and some clout. Yeah. And the reason is, is because he is the Twitter user that started dropping Starfield screenshots back and uh, hinting May at, of last year, I think. Yeah, hinting that something big is coming to Microsoft, uh, and it ended up being the Bethesda acquisition. No, 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 no. no. So go ahead. It was Don't just, it was just Starfield screenshots. Oh, just Starfield yeah. screenshots. Okay, there we go. My bad. Yeah. Apologies. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Thank we you like to be David. accurate. Okay, so so Jordan, <laughs> rumor, yeah. micros, major Microsoft ac- acquisition. I say, I say for today's discussion, mm-hmm. I say we discuss this to what gets more Xbox than Halo Infinite gameplay or Halo Four rather. Oh, are you talking Wait. about the live stream? Or are we yeah, talking about the live stream? The live stream. I'm talking about the live stream. Oh, the show. Yeah. Okay. I was yeah. trying to troll Jordan with the Halo oh, Four. Okay. It was I'll a, grab. I'll grab something. It was okay. a failed. It was a failed attempt. <laughs> oh, oh, I see what you're saying. I'm like, I was, yeah. I was gonna, yeah, whoa. A, whoa. A failed attempt. Or Psychonauts is always a good one. Okay, yeah, yeah I'll pull up. I'll pull up Psychonauts. Anyways, go. To, oh, sorry, I'm on sorry, top. Jordan. So why, why do you think? Why do you think? Well, okay, so my first theory is I saw a couple comments online that I tend to agree with. Is we knew nothing about the Bethesda acquisition. Like it was silent. It was. Tight lid deal, oh, and that was a huge okay. acquisition. Solid, and then and then and then bam, it just came out of nowhere for us, right? So the the argument, which I've read in some comments, and I do tend to agree with this argument, is how is it we heard nothing about the seven point five billion dollar deal, but now all of a sudden we're hearing stuff, right? Yeah. And I go, okay, no, I think that. And then That's if you fair. think like legally and stuff, all that stuff stays pretty tight lid, right? Oh, super you know tight, I mean? yeah. So my other my other uh what would you call it hesitancy of 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 just jumping in and believing it is it i, I don't know i did the wording it says microsoft acquisition which yes microsoft is xbox but i almost wonder is it are like are they buying like when they bought teams like that uh, is technically a microsoft acquisition I mean, they you were, know what i mean they were going after discord for a while yeah so i well, discord would be pretty big so i don't know i just it in my mind i feel like microsoft is focused on getting that holiday lineup out you know, yeah, but you I, do, I mean, I, I know you can do two things at you once. You do two things at once. You know, I mean, I, I can. I, I mean, I know, I know it can happen, but I don't know. I just, it's mostly some of the comments I read online. I tend to agree with. And hey, I'm not saying that this guy's right or wrong. I mean, hey, if he's right, whoa, whoa, yeah, then yeah. If he's wrong, then whoa, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, it's 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 That's yeah, it's oh, it's okay. it's you know, a rumor's a rumor, right? So it's nothing against rumors, but I just I enjoy them. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, I just I just don't, I don't know, I, I tend to agree with a lot of the comments I've been seeing online where it's like, how did we hear nothing about a $7.5 billion acquisition, but now we're hearing stuff about Cause this. Because this is a $5 know? billion. Yeah, because this is a $8 it's billion. It's only a $5 billion. So it's, it's only less. a $5 billion, so it's, it's less than a Anything over $5 billion, you keep silent. <laughs> hey, look, don't get me wrong. I'm sure Microsoft has, especially the well, Xbox Well, we know they division. were going after WB Studios. That's the major, that's, that would be major. That would be huge, because that's The Witcher. WB? 
Yeah, W. Well, W. Well, okay. Well, WD produces that game. WD forty. WD. So no, so no. I guess okay. That tell a lie. WD just like WB. distributes and WB. Uh, yeah, I'm messing WB. with you. Yeah. yeah. WB. That's why I said WB games. No, no you, you said, said WD. D. That's oh, why I said WD forty. Yeah. 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 Like grease the hinges. Maybe yeah. this company's gonna grease no, all yeah. Microsoft's Sorry. hinges. I, I WB is just the producer slash distributor for Cyberpunk. So never mind. Yeah. But. WB. It's huge you get Batman, Shadow yeah, you of get all, all the Lego games. By the way, I've been way into Lord of the Rings this week. Yeah. <laughs> Nerd. Yeah. And it makes me want to go back and play Shadow of Mordor. That's a great game. Yeah. yeah. That's a really good game. Yeah. No. So I just, I don't know. I, I tend to think, I tend to lean, it's not not a real rumor. It may be a rumor, okay. but I don't think it's a real <laughs> well, rumor. Well, it's a rumor. It's a rumor. But is it an accurate rumor? I, I, I don't think it is. That's just me. Now, Spicy, yeah. let's. Let's let's play pretend here for a minute. I I love playing yeah. pretend. We're gonna play pretend right here for a minute. Let's pretend this rumor ends up being true, and it is a and because the words he's using is major acquisition, crazy rumors. Damn, what would what would be the major acquisition? The craziest? You want to know the craziest? Yeah, that would one? get that kind of reception. It rhymes with pony. <laughs> I That's the craziest one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're not going po- there. Pony Entertainment. What if you don't? What if you don't buy Sony, but you buy Sony Studios? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's funny. No, that's no, no. Funny. But what? What? Uh, what would be okay beyond the uh, insane? What would be the the something insane? Earth shattering. Let's say there's earth shattering. Well, I've uh, I've said it before. I think a Bandai Namco would be a great pull. Yeah. That would a be a Japanese studio. Yeah, yeah. that would be a we'll really, see, really I definitely good think one. it'll be Japanese. They, they next. do have that uh, is it Tango Gameworks that they acquired with the Bethesda acquisition? So they they do have some now, but uh, uh, like a yeah, yeah. Bandai Namco cuz the IPs Capcom you get with that is pretty yeah. big. I think like logically here. So so I think if it is going to be someone, I think the most likely one would probably be like an EA. Because Ooh. because EA, EA and Microsoft, we know how already have a They're very friendship. good relationship. They, they already have a very good relationship. They golf together now. Yeah, yeah, they have a very good relationship, at least you know, from our perspective. You know, maybe they hate each other, but they're in it to make them. I don't know. But from our perspective, it seems like they have a very good relationship. Mm. And I think EA would, they're... Titles would complement Xbox well. You know, you got Battlefield, Dragon Age. So know. let me bring, let me throw some fuel on this rumor mill here. Uh, Scalzi went on to say in a further thread. Wait, you have more information that you've neglected? You've withheld? With well, he said. Well, this is what he said. It's th- it doesn't have. It doesn't like. There's no more proof. Doesn't he says, change. Okay. He says, I predict a lot of internet lawyers are debating monopoly laws at some point in the near Pony! future. Pony. <laughs> Sony. Uh, no, I saw some people. I, but EA would make sense if that EA if that was be, well, EA, because Microsoft already got in trouble in the '90s for monopoly laws, didn't they? Well, kind of. Uh, sort with of, uh, yeah. DirectX, yeah, or something well, like I that. Don't know. So I'm I sure. Don't know. I'm I was, sure. I was a child. I'm sure that department is well funded. If it happened before it? 2010, it doesn't. It did. Me. No, it definitely did. Well, it was because. Wasn't it because of the internet browser stuff that they were the only browser and they didn't let other browsers? I thought get it was involved? they bought up all the DirectX stuff. No, I think it, I think it was that they hence were why not, we Xbox. They were not allowing any software on their ecosystem, and they something. owned the world they, of computers. Yeah, they so owned it. it was Apple like was just a. We're completely wrong. Someone right in, now that knows yeah. this is like yelling at their yeah, speakers. Yeah. So I feel like Probably. I don't know. I feel like Microsoft because they got in trouble with it. I feel like has a fantastic monopoly. No, no, but that's fine. That's that's irregardless. I don't care if, if they get sued for a monopoly thing. What would be big enough for it to be considered a monopoly? I think uh, I, I think, think an EA would be. Well, no, I don't think EA would be because, because you don't own every games. single sports game. Well, it's, you don't own every single sports franchise. But you wouldn't own MLB. It, well, so and the two K games. You don't Madden and FIFA. Yeah, but you don't own the two K games. You own Battle. You'd get Battlefield. Yeah. So, well, and, and hey. Don't hey. forget, you'd also get Peggle. You would get Peggle. <laughs> That's true. That's We'd get true. A Peggle three and Plants for Zombies. Well, I bet you all those games would stay cross-platform because they already are, much like Minecraft. No. If and, you if you're you know. making, I don't I don't think so. If you're making a move for newer well, games in that franchise, maybe well, every maybe existing actually, game. maybe maybe actually you do keep it. Uh, like a Madden and a FIFA, maybe you would keep those cross-platform, but it's free. Always will be on Game Pass. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a selling point. But a battlefield, I think you would move. 
the, so, the new ones, right? Yeah, yeah. whatever new ones. If one we're is. talking monopolies, yeah, yeah. And we already talked about this company before, okay. but Discord. Yeah, if, but if they actually like, there, there's communication laws that get involved with monopolies, sure. Because that's what happened. How many times has AT and T, Bell, uh, whatever? Once it becomes a communication issue, that's when the feds get really involved with monopolistic uh, stuff, right? Mm. So mm. maybe it's a communication thing because of Discord. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Oh, I see what you're saying. I've uh, I've seen a couple uh, comments floating around. Uh, Steam would be a monopoly because then they would own the PC do market think, store. Do you think? You, do you think Gabe's you, done? Do you think he just wants to clock out? Like yeah, he just, just sells it, but the thing is, is I don't think Steam would sell because they're making billions per month. Like they don't need to. Yeah. Well, you can always be acquired. What is like what is Steam? Steam yeah, you can always does, be acquired. What Disney, is Steam's net value right now? Disney has proved it's, they're huge. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna. It's check the that. reason they don't make games anymore because games cost millions of dollars, and millions of dollars to Steam is it's, a waste of time. A waste of time. <laughs> because billions is what they're talking. <laughs> that's true. I'm gonna look that up. Uh, that's something I don't know that I'm curious about. Uh, Valve. Twelve billion. Its net worth. So Valve's net worth, according to um, 2021, uh, this is MDDailyRecord.com. I don't know who they. Yeah, are, Reactor but. League says Steam mic drop. Yeah, net worth of twelve billion. That's. I mean, they just bought Bethesda for eight. Yeah, and Jonathan Yane says Steam is about to come up with the Steam Deck Game Pass in your hand. Yeah, you think? Yeah, that, we'll see. Do you think that would be a monopoly because you have wow. Epic Games and Origin? No, yeah, I could see. Okay, that that now we're going into yes, I could see. Now we're going to monopolistic, play monopolistic. Yeah. No, but anyway, monopoly, yeah. Listic. monopoly, <laughs> istic. <laughs> so it totally Valve. It's twelve billion. That's uh, that's. That's a couple of couches for Xbox to go through. Do you think they put it on credit? <laughs> like, do they, oh my like God. how do they? Can you imagine like, the flight miles you can get with a twelve <laughs> billion dollar oh, purchase? Uh, do you think, put it on a credit card. Do you think they just have like they just ah put uh, put it on the Chase one? Yeah, we we'll get the we we'll get the miles. Platinum. <laughs> yeah, like, like, Don't leave do home you, without it. I mean, Dark uh, Knight. Uh, Dark Knight uh, says Take Two is his guest. Take Two would be an interesting take one, two and would Take be Two. Ginormous. See, to, would Take Two do it though? See, but the I don't thing think is, I don't Two think gives you monopoly status. The problem is, is I can't say would they do it because I never thought Bethesda would do it. So that all yeah. those thoughts are out the door. Take Two would be all the 2K games. It would be Borderlands, and I believe Grand Theft Auto because I think Take Two owns those IPs. They're developed by like Gearbox and Rockstar, but I think Take Two actually. Owns Here, here's them. the thing. Here's what's. Here's why I may be wrong, but here's why 2021 is so crazy, and the current generation of gaming is so crazy, because we're throwing out we're throwing out the craziest ideas. Steam. It most likely is never going to happen. However, the Bethesda seven billion. Maybe it can happen. Like any of those things is not outside of that possibility, that realm of possibility with what they did with Bethesda. If that's the crazy part, I, I really think, I really think if let's say this is true, I don't think it's true, but if it is true, I think EA is the most logical for a few reasons. One, they already have a really good relationship. Two, uh, EA is basically incorporated into Game Pass already with a lot of EA titles, and you get the EA titles. Um, like you, you basically, basically what they could do is since EA titles are already being incorporated to Game Pass fairly frequently, you just incorporate, you basically just shift Origin over to the Game Pass platform on PC. Like you get rid of Origin altogether because not very many people like it or use it, yeah, and Origin. just put all those games in the Microsoft ecosystem. Yeah, fascinating. The, the the ecosystem already talks to each other because when you like, for example, Battlefield Four is on Game Pass. You can install it on the Xbox app, and then it just pulls up Origin and launches the game. Yeah, you know what I mean. I'm just saying, shift all that over. I just think that would be the most logical purchase. How much is EA worth? Ah, oh, okay. Why I'm looking this up? What's one percent of twelve billion? One uh, percent, one hundred and twenty million. Man, I do want to use my credit card to, <laughs> to make a purchase like that. <laughs> you know? That's insanity. Yeah. yeah. That is insanity. Uh, there was something else that was tweeted out this week that was super fascinating. Oh, it was. It was I, I tweeted it out, but when this. <laughs> <when it was, laughs> <laughs> That's a super. Oh, yeah, that was me. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, that was. Oh, yeah. got super lightheaded from that. No, 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 no. Oh, my uh, gosh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, man. Uh, how you put that that was the yeah. best but there's me, something really yeah. inter- oh yeah it was Some mine badass <laughs> who's, oh, yeah. who's <laughs> oh, yeah, just an alpha <laughs> male you know <laughs> just straight up tweeted this out oh sorry that was my tweet that was so good by, by the way if you don't follow me, come, me come follow me on twitter <laughs> twitter.com forward slash x1 bros let follow me, me just say what I said I'm sorry uh, let me quote myself here <laughs> I tweeted this out no, no, I, uh, I retweeted this. this. is a story from uh, windowscentral.com, and what happened is NVIDIA GeForce had their database, and because of how they posted their database, we got a glimpse into what some unannounced Xbox Studio projects were this mm-hmm. week. And the most interesting one to me, let's, just, let's go down here. Let me find it. Uh, we got the Oxide Project, which indicates that uh, this is in the early stages of development. Oxide is internally known as Project Indus, a strategy simulation title drawing inspiration from the city building genre. That to me is fascinating that an Xbox Studios, Xbox Studios is working on some sort of strategy simulation game based, inspired by the city building genre. Yeah. Well, I mean, to think, I mean, are we getting a Halo Wars 3? That would be cool. I mean, some of the best Halo cutscenes. Well, didn't you are just from say? Didn't game. you say City Builder? Would it be Halo Wars Three Builder? Oh, maybe. <laughs> what, what do you mean? Well, but I mean, it's I, a simulation. Halo like, Skyline. It's a simulation yeah, Halo strategy Skyline. Games. You try not to Halo get your Skyline. planet glass. <laughs> hey, actually, that would be really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Halo Skyline. Halo Skyline. Like, no, oh, look, look, here comes think, the covenant. Let me put this wall right here. Yeah. <laughs> well, Block I, it. I think what <laughs> Xbox is starting to do really well right now with their games. Diversify. And, yeah, yeah, and we've mm. seen this with games like Crusader Kings coming. To the actual console Xbox, right? It's 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 on Game Pass, but it's actually on the console Xbox. Uh, we've seen uh, games like Gears Tactics uh, being brought over to the console. Uh, all, basically, all of Paradox's games, because Paradox is basically, I, I would say it's would you call it a niche game or a, a, it's a very specific community for yeah. those types of games. Yeah. A city builder is the same thing. I think it's a very specific type of community, yeah. and and I just. I think Xbox, that doesn't surprise me, and I wouldn't be surprised if that did happen because I think Xbox is doing a very good job of diversifying their portfolio. They have shooters and RPGs. They have those. They have those pretty much locked down. Does should They dominate the shooter genre, let's be honest. And, and the and, racing. And, and racing. Got shooter, that on lockdown, baby. Shooter, RPG. I mean, I say RPG because now we got Starfield. Uh, we got Fable coming. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. I, I, you need these? Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this was a thing. Chat's mentioning Halo Tactics. Like Gears Tactics, but a Halo version of uh, of Gears Tactics. Yeah, that'd be like cool. an XCOM, a Halo XCOM, yeah, Halo essentially. XCOM, yeah. That'd yeah. be cool. You could do it with. Uh, yeah, it would actually. No, be I feel like fun. we're going something yeah. a little. I feel like it would be something a little more unique than than that because you got Gears Tactics, and you're gonna you're gonna let's be honest, we're gonna get a Gears Tactics too. We know yeah, those are really good. Yeah, it, it did really good. I think Halo. Ready for this? I think in this last generation, Halo Wars Two is one of the most underrated games. I would agree with of that. the Xbox One. It I think was it's, I think really, it's one of the better Halo games in the last. It was generation. really, really good. good. It was really really good. One of the it had the funnest battle mode, Blitz. That's Blitz mode. These matches are five to twelve minutes tops, and you have cards, and you drop your cards, you drop your players, you can move. The way the controls worked on on the controller, it was instant snap. They put it together really well. It was a lot of it was a lot of fun. The campaign had Atriox. Which yeah, the Atriox, campaign yeah. introduced one of the coolest bad guys ever, yeah. which is now well, I mean, his faction is going to be in the new Halo Infinite. Yeah, I agree, David. It's it's very yeah, and, and, and it Halo just kind of it just well kind of went away. It just kind of sat there behind, you know. Put it this way: Halo Wars Two was so well done. I didn't complain a ton about the microtransactions that they have. <laughs> like, see, and that's how you know. Because I don't like the microtransactions that they have in Halo Wars. I mean, they're not terrible, but they're not great. Yeah. But you notice I don't complain about them because the the rest of the game just, you know. If you that, please me correctly, you can charge me whatever you yeah, want. That's, I, yeah, that's kind of ah, hey. Well, and they did really good. They came out with those two DLCs. The, the shorter one, which was the ODST one. I think it was called like Spear Breaker. And then basically a full expansion with uh, Awakening the Nightmare. Let's let's put, I want to let's let's look at some Halo Wars okay. 2 footage here oh, because. Uh, sure. I just have to say EA is worth 41 billion. Woo! Forty-one billion. Wow, maybe it won't be EA. Yeah, <laughs> forty-one billion. That's EA. So that 
That is a big boy. That is whew. There that's like ten couches to go through for Microsoft to look through that. You can't put that one on a credit. I don't card. know. In my mind, it that's seemed a, logical, but now on a, paper, it doesn't. That's a home mortgage line of credit. <laughs> yeah, not a credit that's card. A Big purchase if they yeah. do go with that. Yeah, okay. that is. Kier Thompson says Halo Wars 1 and 2 were both amazing. I agree. For those of you that have never tried Halo Wars, think of think of uh, Command and Conquer with Halo, but but not as complicated, if that makes sense. Like, it's very basic and very good. Yeah. Well, it's one of those games. I think Halo Wars 2 probably more. I mean, you can do well at a low level and a high level. You, you know, it's one of those games that's, Easy to get into, but does take a bit of skill to master. Yeah, and they actually did a pretty decent job with um, cool. like the quick mapping with a controller. Yeah, it really? actually, you'd think an RTS is really challenging on a controller. They did a really decent job of how they how they did. Yeah, it. Per- yeah, particularly in number two, it was it was very smooth, very well done. I I would like to see another one of these. I, I wonder why it went away. But wrong time. Some of some of these things. Let's be honest. You can have a great game and it's the wrong time for it to come out. There's not interest in it yeah. at that time necessarily. In I that think genre. I think what killed the game was the player base was too small. I honestly, people just didn't know this game existed. Yeah, yeah. Because I would play. So they had a ranked version, and I think I think the other problem is they released multiple ways to play online simultaneously or close to simultaneously and so you divide the player base that is there because i would do because you'd have standard way to play where you got to build up your structures and you've got to go and then i would just play blitz because i don't want to be bothered with an economy just give me blitz i want pure strategy baby Mm -hmm. and not that economy is not strategy but it's just pure battle strategy and and so i think you divided your player base and so whenever i would play blitz i would play blitz rank mode and I would literally play the same four people. I, yeah. dom- I dominated them. I was basically number one in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You should see my tweets about it. Yeah, you should see my uh, <laughs> tweets. They were amazing. Uh, to yeah. kind of give you guys an idea, one of our memberships uh, tiers in YouTube is called the Atriox tier. That's, uh, yeah. that's fr- He's and from this game. From this game, yeah. <sighs> well, it's it, Halo Wars 2 is one reason I'm excited for Halo Infinite because the Banished, I think, is such a cool faction. And the way oh. they introduced him. Oh, right? yeah. Like they come he, in. Where he broke the Spartans' armor, and they had to fall back. And what did he say? He said something like, see, only human. Yeah. We are, yeah, the banished attitude of, like, we are the superior species is really cool. Well, yeah. and then just the story of Atriox, how he came to be, how they presented it in the game. Great cutscenes. Yeah, really, really now, well done. Now this, when I played this game, it was only on Xbox One. Now it's on PC. Now there's mouse and keyboard support. I would like to go back and try this on that. I have it downloaded on my PC on game, on yeah. game through Game Pass. Yeah. Have you tried it? It's. Is it better? RTSs with are made for the. Yeah. It's yeah. just. It's just. I the think, way. It, it, it's one of the only. It's like because I did get muscle memory down. No, for no I mean you. Can, I mean you fast, can. You can so. do it, and they did. They did do a very good job on the controller. But if you're an RTS player, like you used to play StarCraft or, or Age of Empires or anything like that, it, it just it it's natural. You know, I don't know. It, it feels more natural. You can, I, you can you cannot do a controller versus a keyboard in an RTS. There's no way. It would have to be controller versus controller or keyboard versus keyboard. Mm, yeah. The keyboard and mouse. Well, this is you, far far more than an FPS. Well, it's this is that mouse accuracy. Um, yeah. The, it it is so much more of a dominating input device when it comes to RTSs than than a controller. So either I think they did a really good job, but then again you were just playing controller versus controller, so it made sense. If you if you have this game and you have access to a keyboard, I would not play this game without that. Yeah, I'm gonna try if you I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna go back and try it. I th- I think again, I think this is one of the most underrated games of the last of the Xbox One generation. No, I really enjoyed it. I thought the story was very well done. I would say this, because uh, chat just said, well, keyboard and mouse uh, combos rule in many genres, to be fair. There is no genre where the keyboard has so much more dominance and is so much more unfair than RTS. There is no... Is that because I, th- I think because of bird's eye view and how screens work. Uh, well, and just and the... Tra- 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 traverse just the, the one, two, three, like your, your grouping, control group. Tapping, one, two, three, four. Yeah, e- everything, grouping as well. Or everything whatever, about yeah. it. Yeah, because you can group on the controller, but think about how many physical actions it takes to group. You have to press That's the thing. Like, if, left bumper as your shift, D-pad, over, group. 
whereas it's one button. See, that being said, they did do a good job of, of, of doing that on the controller. Even snapping across the map, they did a good job as well. But it just it feels more natural it's, on a... It's, yeah, it's less important on a slower-based RTS like a... Like um, no, like where actions per minute don't matter. Correct. It's more, like more Stellaris. Total War. Stellaris. Stellaris, Total War, those type of games. But there is nothing more powerful than a keyboard on an RTS, just having the APM and stuff like that. So Yeah, Fitzy in chat says great cutscenes in the Halo Wars yeah, games. They're fantastic. Agreed. But Boy Will says I did start Halo Wars. It's really good. good. It's really good. Um, our Reactor League says, I think at the time people uh, seeing on RTS on console wasn't as appealing as it would be today. I, I agree with that. I think, I also think at that time, I think the hot ge- the hot genre was battle battle royales. I think that's still the case. No, but I mean, like they senses. were new. It was fresh. It was new. Okay, you gotcha. Know? Yeah. So you were fighting that as uh, yeah, well. Yeah, it, it was. I mean, it's much more niche than and. It's a tougher genre. I mean, people that like RTSs play RTSs, um, but there's there's a lot of people that don't play RTSs, I guess is what I'm trying to say. That sounds so stupid now that I said it. Uh, but it's when you're limited on time and your friends are playing uh, Warzone and you're like, eh, you know, I got to get the new blueprints or whatever. I've got to do the battle passes and everything. These are the kind of games that fall by the wayside, I feel. Yeah. And which is a shame because they're really good games and they're very fun. I, mm. I, so we should do we should do a Halo Wars community stream. That would be really I think fun. That would be you I think would kill would me, David. You would just dominate. Well, I'm not on mouse and keyboard. We'd be let's we'd do be me on mouse and keyboard and you on a <laughs> controller. Hey, just see, well, as an experiment, just as an experiment. Uh, blitz mode only. Okay, that yeah. would actually <laughs> be really interesting because uh, yeah. Because I'm really good and no, 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 and spicy sucks. No, 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 no. Because well, because I have some muscle memory built up there. Uh, and it's a different enough genre, yeah. whereas, but you have the advantage of mouse and keyboard. So, yeah. we, so how does it equal out there? I, that would I, be really interesting. That would be fun. We could do it for science. We do it for science. Mm. Well, let's make a video about it. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, but there you go, guys. The what is it? What is it? Oxide Project Oxide or Project Indus? Microsoft is working on it. And it's a strategy simulation title, drawing inspiration from the city building genre. Hmm. Super curious. That really intrigues me. I think that's the most interesting news. There's a lot of other games that were like the Fable reboot was in that. The Indiana Jones was in that. Um, but the strategy simulation that a Microsoft studio is working on fascinates me. Building strategy simulation. Build- is well, that what it's called? What's the exact terminology? Uh, here's here's what was exactly said. Uh, and everybody, this is on WindowsCentral.com. They do fantastic work. Uh, a strategy slash simulation title. Drawing inspiration from the city building. Oh genre. man, simulation. Yeah, like so if, like no fast forwarding or something. So like if so, you're doing road work, well, you can't just well, fast forward time it, through it. Well, you, you gotta, actually have yeah. to be the worker down on <laughs> yeah, the floor. Yeah. yeah so if I don't a sewage know. line breaks or a hurricane <laughs> comes in, you got to like really deal with it. Yeah. So I don't got to run those power lines. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know what we're talking about there, but it uh, if that really that piques my interest. Speaking of that, because of this, I actually jumped in. I downloaded on Game Pass. Jurassic Park Evolution. Oh, that, yeah, that's right. That game is really fun. Yeah, it's like um, it gives me like Zoo Tycoon vibes. Yeah, it's very Zoo you Tycoonish know. with Dinosaurs. a lot more complicated research. Like you have to research every single genome before you, and then research it multiple times by digging up fossils before you can. And I never got anyone to my park. I was just starting it. Do you have accidents? Uh, yeah. Like people the, get eaten. Yeah, the accidents are actually really fun <laughs> in that game. <laughs> is there a, 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 a? I didn't say the magic word. <laughs> yeah. uh, actually, uh, that guy's the host. Is he really? Oh no, no, no not no, that guy. No, not no, the, no, the mathematician uh, guy. What's uh, his name? Hold on to your butts. No, 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 no. no, no. It's, the, a, it's um. He's in all of them. Oh, oh famous. yeah. Why I am I forgetting? He's on name? Independence Day. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I don't know yes. why I'm not thinking of his name. He's the Grandmaster. Uh, yeah, in Thor, the Marvel universe, right? That guy. Yep. Yep. He's a really he's his like what's his name everybody chat Jeff Goldblum, Jeff Goldblum. thank Goldblum. you yeah. there we go chat yeah. we love you thank yeah. you you he's make the, us not sound nar- so he's a narrator in that game super fun super super fun game his so. like uh, bio is totally just the smart guy in movies the smart guy <laughs> like, like if you think about it he hacked in to an alien uh, OS with <laughs> Apple yeah. 
Like how in the world in the he, early two thousand? Yeah, the early not 2000s. Apple, Apple, Apple one point oh. Apple yeah. one point oh. He figured out a language, a computing language, to hack in and and leave a, a virus in an alien, in an, in an advanced alien civilization, advanced alien civilization network. You'd think through Wi Fi. You'd think they'd have. <laughs> yeah, how did he do that? <laughs> you'd think he didn't even have a direct link. Yeah, you'd think they'd have more. Adv- they can go at light speed, but they can't encrypt their files. Now that's a smart guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, an encryption genius. I think so. He's the in the he the grandmaster. Yeah, it in, makes sense because can't the grandmaster one of his abilities he sees into the future? I think he's a future seer type person, mm. and that's why he's so power. He's like a weak guy, but a powerful guy because he knows every he move. Can anticipate all your moves. Yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's true. I didn't just dream that up. By the way, how about I think we watched this last week, but how about the Matrix trailer, the new Matrix? Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. Dude, that uh, that looks so good. Yeah. At first, when I saw it, I was like, I don't need another Matrix. Give me a break. And then you're watching, you're like, oh, maybe I do. <laughs> maybe, maybe I do. <laughs> maybe, Reactor Leak, maybe at the time he just, uh, got Jeff Goldblum just put them on LimeWire and they got all the viruses from <laughs> LimeWire Lime at the time. <laughs> how they were like, this civilization allows free downloaded music? Free downloaded <laughs> music? <laughs> click, 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 click. Let's do it. What's Eminem, going on with our I'm in. in. What's and going on with our Meanwhile, Jeff Goldblum's character is sitting there like, <laughs> hey, if he only We're knew in. what he was getting into. We're in. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's really funny. Uh, very, very, very fun. Let's talk the beta, the beta, as it were. Shout beta. out to Ryan H. from across the pond. The beta yeah. of Vanguard okay. is here. Oh, yeah. So right now, if I I, the pre- if you pre-order it, you can play it now as we speak today. Open beta's tomorrow. It goes throughout the whole weekend. Uh, it's here for us to try, play, and yeah, test. Yeah, now you have opinions on it. I do. So and it's, it's you, not, when you said it, I thought, not, ooh, strong opinion. It's not necessarily good or bad. I just it just is. So it's it's it's. I don't even know if it's really a criticism. It's just like thoughts. So give, give me your thoughts. It feels it feels very modern warfare, which I like because I like modern warfare. Yeah. I like the engine. I like the movements. Um, despite mounting, encouraging camping, and and it, it, I, that c- caused some frustration with players. I did like the mechanic of mounting. Sure. Uh, so all, all that is back. What red blood melt um, doesn't. I, I'm just so it it takes place in World War Two, and this is actually a perfect example. We're watching a video right now. It feels it, slow. It takes place in World War Two, and that guy has basically a site that uses a battery. Oh yeah, look at his site. Like, it's a hologram. It's, it's not, a holograph site. It's not that it's pulling me away from World War Two or anything. But my question is, and, and that's why I said I don't feel I don't know if this is a fair criticism or or I don't know. This if is it, definitely pre transistors. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know if this is a criticism at all. This was special Nazi but technology that the Americans for, hacked. <laughs> they used vacuums for instead a, of transistors for at this a, point. For a World War Two shooter, the reason you go to specific time periods and do things for your games is to get a specific feel. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, I agree. So, so it's just it feels like yeah, modern. Look at that hollow site. It, it feels like modern. A, yeah, yeah, it feels like modern warfare, like movement wise, which I, I like all that because I like the fluidity. He's of on modern a Tommy warfare. gun with a hollow sight. <laughs> but the, yeah, this is this is my <laughs> like. Look at that gun. This is this is it my. It's weird. This it's 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 just my, this is my question. If you were gonna do all the suppressor attachments that you have, the t- first of all, the wait the, are the suppressor attachments? There are in suppressors, okay. which I will admit there were some suppressors in World War II, but it was definitely not common practice. Okay, okay, um, yeah, especially in open warfare. So, so here's my th- my thing. Okay, give me your thing. Is and like I said, I don't know if this is a criticism or not, but it's just something I've noticed. So I like the fluidity of the game, the movement. The, I do like the mounting system. I, I understand the criticism of it encourages camping, uh, and it can cause issues on certain maps, like in Modern Warfare. But I, I like that idea. I like the tactical sprint. Right, like the fluidity of the game I think is good because it's it feels We're like Modern Vanguard. Warfare. Yeah, Vanguard okay. because it feels like Modern Warfare, which okay. is good. <laughs> I just if if you wanted to go to World War Two, like if you wanted to put all these sites and stuff they, on, yeah. why didn't you just go modern? You, you know, like well, I just, wait, is the sto- what's the story? Is the story time a time traveler goes back to World War Two? <laughs> I don't know, the, Marty. It's the, your kids. Something's got to be done with your kids. The, uh, World War Two. The uh, I mean, the we have the campaign trailer was really good, so we'll play through that, and maybe it is. I don't know, but it's just it's it's. 
I'm playing through it, and you're like, wow, look at these sights. This is We would have won the war a lot faster if this was the case. <laughs> this you is know, on the Back to the Future timeline. <laughs> yeah, so it was, just, it was just, and again, it's not necessarily a criticism, good thing, bad thing. I'm sure they're doing it just to keep things consistent. But my only question is if you were going to do that, why did you pick, like, why even go to World War II? Because the idea of going to World War II is to get the feel of World War II, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, and that brings the feel of these different guns. So, why would we go to World War II <laughs> and put the modern sights on the guns? Because then you have the exact same feel as modern warfare. And that may have been what they were going for, but that, again, circles around to my question, then why go to World I mean, War II? In all, in all reality, yeah. their calculation probably is, what does it matter if it's fun? And that's probably <laughs> yeah. like, well, uh, who cares if we just do it? But yeah, if we just do it why and do it's a blast, <gasps> but let's why, just do it. Why but, the time period, though? Yeah, why that's, because that's they want the, the world... They just no, no they, they don't. <laughs> no, no, they the do. World, no, no. The world doesn't have transistors. Oh, okay, let's let let rephrase that. They want the maps. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's it. Well, then go and have those, battles the, in a museum. They want the maps. <laughs> they want the maps in the story, uh, but they want to bring. We want to bring in the stuff that makes. And, and I, be, I believe. Awesome. I believe. Now, people can correct me if I'm wrong, but we I get believe. Drone strikes. In in in. <laughs> <laughs> you do actually. You do get drone strikes. So you guys know the RC car, but yeah. just mostly in Black Ops. Yeah, they have one in this game. Now it's very small and can't move very fast due to but technology. It, but it exists. <laughs> but it exists it's using vacuums. Yeah, it exists. So I mean, yeah, it does. But the other thing, it, this. So in in Modern Warfare. Uh, I believe you have five attachments that you can put on. That was the limit. You had like six or seven attachment slots, but you can only use five. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe in this game you can put ten attachments on your gun. Uh, another thing where I wonder, I don't think guns were designed to have attachments back then. I think it was all it was an all-in-one system, let alone ten attachments. You know what? I'm going to go watch <laughs> Pawn Stars for a little bit and figure that out. <laughs> yeah, so, so again... I, I don't it, it I it's I don't I don't want this to be a criticism because I mean it's 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 your tip it's your tried and true Call of Duty formula and I am very excited for what they're doing for Warzone new map uh, the anti cheat that they're they're I implementing think, in the new map I'm very excited for Warzone I I just don't if you wanted to put all this stuff on these weapons why did you go mo why didn't you just go modern and then and then you would answer naturally well because we wanted the World War II setting and I go okay. But you're not getting that. But you are get, you are getting it minus minus your details on your gun. Well, it, it, that how, enhance, how that the, game, the gameplay, how this game feels like it doesn't feel like a World War Two shooter. How this game feels is it feels like modern warfare. The cosplaying remake, as a World War Two shooter. Yeah, with a skin over it. See, but and I, that, and I think that's what they were going. I for. I think that's exactly what they're going for. But I, think I just actually, I just don't understand it. I'm it, going to say something. I think it's genius. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I really do. I think I, just, I think the goal is screw it. We want this game to be fun. What? Uh, but you what can do we still do the screw it. We want this game to be fun and not damage the integrity of World War Two. Well, I see, I'm not even. See, history, I'm, I'm not I, even mad at that. But like, I think I'm, Call, well, I'm Duty, Call of Duty. Call Duty is not Battlefield in that I don't think Call of Duty. The old ones were. The old ones. The old ones were. But then Battlefield came along, and I think Call of Duty said, "Let's own what. Let's let's be us." And that means well, well least, I think I think they're they still, going for they know the formula that works for them exactly. Right? Which is exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> dogs, so dogs. The dogs were broken. But this, I, was the say. Only, I just the only thing I'm not mad or anything. Like that's why I said this isn't really a criticism. I just I you, no, you why? they went to World War II because you want that feel of World War II, but they're not necessarily giving you the feel. In my opinion, I'm not like a fantastic historian, but I do it's not know, like you were there. I do know that we did not have yellow dot sites. <laughs> Yeah. On Tommy guns. Well, here's why. Right? Because I, here's so. the calculation. World War II sucks. <laughs> the story is but great. The, no, the, no, no. The, the good versus bad, fantastic. No, no, but the, the old school maps, the costumes, great. But the guns sucked. Let's bring in our no, own guns. No, but see, the, the guns are what give it the feel. You yeah, know, like, feels, for example. But for I'm example. telling you, their calculation is that no, feel no, sucks. Let's, let's take Battlefield 1. Battlefield yeah. 1. There was virtually no sights on those guns. It was all iron sights. And it gave the gameplay a specific feel to it, right? It, it definitely yeah, did not feel No, modern, I agree you know? with you on that. It gives you a specific feel. I'm saying that Call of Duty's logic yeah. here is that feel sucks. It's but, inferior to this feel. But that's what I'm saying. If it's inferior to the feel, 
Why go back in time? Because Why not they just, still want to be in the world that is World War II. If you used the 70s, I would have been like, okay, we're on the line. Spicy. <laughs> Spicy. I think what David is trying to okay. say is we. I'm going to do try an analogy here. Yes, please. We're going to a Wolfpack concert. We're expecting a very specific style of elegant musicianship. Okay. Sure. Yet when we arrive, they start playing an AC. They play ACDC throughout the whole concert, and you're like, "I was expecting this, but this is still good." But this yeah. is yeah. So See, it's with, in a different skin, with the other flavor. It's it's a different flavor of same, music, same but I'm sound. still tapping my foot. <laughs> I just. So I, that's I, what again, David's saying. Like, it's yeah, like no, yeah, yeah, no yeah, I yeah, think it's still no. okay. Well, I, I think they're saying, "Let's be us. Screw history." Well, and that's fine. I'm not mad at that, and I'm not criticizing right. them for the direction they went in. What I'm saying is, I just don't get it. I, I agree. Like I just I agree. I don't get it either. I think. But it's like, I think it's like, probably still going to be like, fun. Here, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here I think go. it's smart. I honestly think it's smart. Here we go. Like this is like all right. We need to put a a, a, a laser sight on this gun. Oh, it's a it's a Tommy gun from 1942. Jeff. Well, that's okay. Just it, just make it yellow. Yellow looks like a World War II color. That'll be fine. Yeah, oh. just fade it. Oh, okay. <laughs> just fade it. What? Well, okay. It okay. Chat's going. Chat's making some good points. What? Going to a Weezer concert, but they play K-pop songs. Uh, Ryan That's H. really good. Yeah, Ryan H. Reactor League. If Bon Jovi did a concert and all new songs without their greatest hits, that may be it too. It's just <laughs> yeah. like something well, then, like, sounds off. Like the other conversation, you know, like the other conversation is like, okay, Jeff, what are we gonna put in for kill streaks? I want the RC car. Okay, uh, uh, do you want to just do a modern game then, or like the '80s? Maybe no, no, no. World War II. We can make it work. Okay, we'll just make it go slower. I think they should that, have had a, a remote. I thing. think that sounds fun. <laughs> no, and, and have hey, a remote control car fun. be as big as the computers back in the day, which were like three rooms worth. Yeah. So have it be a big bus that comes. No, in. I'm not saying it's a bad or good thing. I I like it. I'm just, it just I don't is. understand is what I'm saying. Like well, I don't. I'm, why did you pick the time period if you wanted this modern atta- these modern attachments on the weaponry? And you could well, say, but, oh, because we but, wanted modern okay, attachments. Okay, then that's it's like, fine that you but think why that. Why did I just? <laughs> no, no. I understand why you. I understand why you think that. My question is. Don't Even Wolfenstein didn't have the this modern, is, <laughs> and it's worse. a complete they use vacuums. <laughs> this is worse than Halo Four. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Halo. I had problems with this. I don't. I just don't get it. Well, but my I, what I am trying to say is, don't you think that the thinking probably is? Who cares? This, who cares? <laughs> this is what makes the game fun. Let's throw in what we think no, makes I, it fun in I a World think, War Two setting. I think personally, the thinking is it's easier to recycle stuff. Then create new stuff. That's and that's why we have Romans then, in Las in uh, <laughs> Fallout Las Vegas. Yeah, and then, and then uh, you know because they just hey, we have assets of Roman soldiers from our other games, and all we could do is just change it to yellow. That's they've a probably, World War they've probably explained this, and it makes sense. And no, they didn't. Yet. They People just don't care. Right and that's like I have respect for that. No, but what I do want to talk about actually, real quick, because we didn't talk about it last week, is the new Warzone stuff that they're coming out with. Okay, yeah. Whole, I mean, maybe we did talk about it last week. I just don't remember the new map. Okay. Set in the Pacific, rumored to come out probably about a month or so after Vanguard. Very exciting. It's much, you can see the, the they do kind of like an overview of it. Much brighter colors than Verdansk, which is really exciting. Because think the Pacific, you know, th- think like, a, yeah. not like Iwo Jima, almost like a wake, it's not Wake Island, but almost like that color palette. Bright tree, you know, very bright colors. Another exciting thing is we're going to get World War II weapons, which will probably just be modern weapons, you know, depending yeah. on how it's going. Uh, and they're building an anti-cheat system that's essentially built into the map. I almost want to compare it to how Riot did the uh, Valorant anti-cheat, where it's like built into the game. So it's incredibly hard, if possible, in, in, if possible to like wall hack and stuff, because it's built like, what, what would they call it, at the kernel level? You, you know, so it's you can't just go in and wall hack because it's, it's built into the game to where you can't do that. And as far as I know... I don't think Valorant's ever had a problem with cheaters, mm. whereas Warzone has had a you know. Yeah. It's, it's, Have it's, you it's, seen anyway. the new? Uh, so that alone, very I, very excited. So oh, sorry, I'm just I'm really excited for this new Warzone stuff, and we're finally getting a proper new map, not just a reskin, but a proper new map. I've seen um, videos on kind of the new cheats that are possibly in the workings with uh, AI learning. Have oh, you seen that stuff? No. no. And I don't know how anti cheats are going to deal with it. I, I watched some videos on it. It's basically an overlay of your game so it's not in your game at all it's an overlay and the ai learning is learning where the heads are and everything and it just adapts 
and it just drives the game for you, which is really, really hard for game cheats to, to if impossible, because it looks like a human is playing it, actually. Hmm. Yeah. So it games may get to the point where cheaters are go- it's just going to be ruined <laughs> which sucks <laughs> that sucks uh, and I'm, you know well you want to know speaking of anti-cheat this has nothing to do with anti-cheat <laughs> check out this tweet that <laughs> i just sent out <laughs> no but you reminded me of something saying that is i i have recently subscribed to a youtube channel because this youtube channel all he does is say look at this guy on twitch who uses my gameplay and this guy and he just fo- and i don't think the guy on twitch knows <laughs> That this guy has a whole YouTube channel and it's hilarious to go be like, all right, guys, it's like an older gentleman. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to get some kills today. <laughs> and that it, actually and, and happens like, quite a yeah, bit. And yeah. like you hear his like machine turn on and then he's like, okay, let's do this. <laughs> oh, that was a headshot. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Dude, it's, I want to do those that. videos. Yeah. <laughs> we should, we should, I want to actually that make funny. a YouTube channel where that's what I do. But I'm upfront about it. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretending to play this. Hey guys, let's uh, jump into. We we'll call it pretend play, pretend gaming, pretend gaming, pretend gaming. You know what would be funny TM. is if it was if it was you faking to play to your actual own recording of you playing the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like that would that would be that hey, would be that's like mind. That's hobby. actually smart. <laughs> yeah. Cheating within cheating. That's yeah, because like, then you can relax. Just like oh yeah, I know what's gonna. happen. I want to tell you a story about my uh, my brother, my older brother, when he had piano lessons as a kid. He would record himself playing the piano, and then he would. It was, our piano was in the basement, and my mom was upstairs. And he would just press play and leave. This was Joe. He would just press play, well, and he would funny. leave. And my mom would always be so mad at him, missing the sa- messing up the same parts over and over and over. And it was just a loop. <laughs> that's hilarious. And then he would just go play. That's that's kind of that's kind of what yeah. this is. Yeah. It's your own playing. <laughs> And it's so you can be lazy, more lazy. You can watch a movie instead while you're streaming. Be like, oh, oh yeah, look what I did here. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm not talking. I'm just really focused today. <laughs> we could call it a lazy gamer. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, and then you're like, <laughs> you're, like, you're like sniping and like pulling off shots, and you're like. <laughs> eating a hamburger yeah, yeah. or something on stream like uh, oh 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 shoot yes uh, it would be awesome yeah that's awesome. really let's, good let's take some questions guys it it's mint writes in and says hey bros remember you can write in submit your question every single week youtube.com forward slash x1 bros he says hey bros when i was a kid we had a comic the eagle and one of the stories each week was called computer warrior in it the main character was sucked into a real video game of the time and played out the story if this was made into a TV series, what game would you like the first episode to be and why? So a comic hmm. where the kid gets sucked into a game and... Skyrim. Oh, yeah, Skyrim would be cool. Skyrim would be a good one. Uh, uh, else? Escape from Tarkov. Okay, I think Ooh. actually Escape from Tarkov would be really cool. Just yeah, that, that would be scene. like... I gotta just that scenario. Question. Scenario. Yeah. If there's a TV show where you're sucked in, where the character is sucked into a game mm-hmm. and that game becomes his, his life... His IR. Leisure well, Suit Larry. Leisure Suit Larry. Paperboy. <laughs> Paperboy. Oh, remember Paperboy? Yeah, Paperboy. Um, I don't know. What I mean, all like, games. This this will work with a lot of games. Yeah. What about, Why would you do Tarkov? That that world is like terrible. That but would be we're funny. We're talking about yeah. watching it on a TV yeah. show. It would be interesting. Be we would die. Uh, Maybe like within like the first ten seconds. Ryan H. Mm. From says, cheaters. Yeah. Ryan H. says Doom. Kerry Thompson says Valhalla. That already exists. It's called Val- the Vikings. <laughs> yeah. Super Shocker GTA also already exists. In, Miami Vice. In, in many shows. Yeah. Uh, I would say... One Night Stand. Dude, One Night Grand Stand. Theft Auto. Auto says, pretty sure that exists as well. <laughs> One Night Stand. Yeah, that's actually... <laughs> there's a lot of TV shows on that. <laughs> yeah. uh, Grand Theft Auto would probably be one of the funniest because of all the zaniness of, yeah. of that game. Yeah. 12 minutes. Ooh, that would be... I played that this week, actually. I played that a lot this week. Um, chat said 12 minutes. Yeah, what did you think of 12 minutes? It's uh, it's good. Is it's it, Is it uniquely different in a bad way? Or good no, way? it's very different. There's not a lot of games that are like this, but I think there will be more. They basically figured out... I know you don't like this, David. Mm. They figured out how to do an escape room in a video game. No, I, I don't mind that. I thought you hated escape rooms. I hate uh, going with IRL people to escape r- escape rooms, but as a video game, it'd be great. Wait, you hate going with people? Then so you don't hate escape rooms, you hate people. 
No, I hate people in escape rooms. <laughs> like, why? Because everybody, it becomes a bunch of thespians. I'm not a fan of thespians. They annoy me. Wait, what does that word mean? I don't know what that a word means. A thespian is like, like a, a, a high school actor. I mean, that's not what thespian means, it's, but it's in LARP, my It's like LARPing. Yeah. It's the people at the, like... The Renaissance Fair. <laughs> but, the, but see, I like those people. <laughs> It's a, in my mind, yeah. a thes- no. okay, my definition Fan- of a thespian. Fantasy so thespians are okay. Modern if thespians. You, yeah. Modern thes- <laughs> if people trying too I hard. If I went with you, you would think I was a thespian in an escape room? I'd think Mark's way too in the, into this. What a well, thespian. I'm tr- it's just solving puzzles. What a thespian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that's what, you don't like... Yeah. It's not like I'm... I don't... I, okay, whatever. Anyways, back to the 12 minutes. Yeah, I want you to solve puzzles. I just don't... I just... Want to do it virtually online? Breaking news: David hates people. <laughs> <laughs> I did you know that? I my favorite thing to do is to be by myself. I actually agree with that. I guess I hate people too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Jordan, how about you? Eh, it depends. If uh, I love sports and I love playing sports, if I could play sports without people, I would. That's why I like golf. I totally would. Oh, golf. Let's go golfing. Yeah. Speaking of twelve minutes, though, okay. going back okay. to the game, it's uh, it's a game. Like every ten minutes, the game resets, and you find every out more and more. Minutes? No, it's ten minutes. Oh, interesting. So I haven't figured out why it's called twelve minutes yet in the game. Maybe that, maybe it. there was a trademark for ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think if you minutes. I think <laughs> it if it goes to twelve minutes, you're good. I think. Oh, okay, like, okay, okay. But it's uh, every it's like a Groundhog Day stuck in a room. You're trying to solve a murder mystery, essentially. And it's it's an escape room. That's exactly what it is. There's no other way to put it. It's an escape room in a video game. That's so cool. It sounds it, unique. It sounds, it's very unique. It's good. Cool. It's pretty good. It's uh, super Shocker. A thespian is a person who is involved in theater. To be, to be, to clarify, I do not hate thespians. My, I hate the thespians who are no good. But it's like <laughs> <laughs> no, who are no good. But low think, down, no good. No, no, but think they're good, so they're always putting on an act like in front of you. Like they're always over dramatic. It's like the the. The friend who can kind of sing, but thinks they're Whitney Houston and is singing all the time, like over the top. Yeah. Oh, that's my. That's, so that's you my. You need to add crazy thespian because thespian. I just looked it up. Yeah, an actor. It's a yeah. yeah. I did not know that actually. Yeah. I'm learning. I actually learned a lot today. In the pre-show, everyone, I learned that potatoes actually can have electricity if you put in copper and zinc. I did not know that. Just what else? I le- I thought I learned something else. Energy. Right. Mayonnaise. Oh, yeah. I, wait, what did I learn about mayo? I already knew That's a lot bad. about mayo. Was Anything good. about food, I know. That was effing good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Great First, question. Yeah. It's Mint. Thank you very much for writing in. Oh, yeah, uh, we were on that question. Still Magnolia writes in. He says, hey, bros, it's Colm Brown. What's up? Uh, I wanted to ask you guys, if you could kill one gaming franchise and resurrect another, which would you choose? Ooh, good That's question. Good question, man. Do okay. they have to be even? Yeah, let's say even. Yeah, they've got to be because you can't be because like, I oh, can't I just say up. Brink because everyone knows I hate that game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's got to be equal. Okay. So kill one franchise but resurrect another one. Hmm. That's really tough. What ga- what game would you have to resurrect to kill Zelda? I, I have one, and I think it actually exists on PC. Um, I really enjoyed the early SWAT games, so like SWAT two, SWAT three, where you're this bird's eye view of a SWAT team that you got to go around and, and get people. I would resurrect that, and I would kill Rainbow Six. Controversial. Rainbow Six? Why would you? That's a great. That's like one of the better games no, that I, we I have. No, I enjoy Rainbow Six, but I feel Choose like. Choose a game genre that we have too much of. I feel like Rainbow Six is a first person okay, shooter I think we have that's too very much. unique. Okay, I'm going to say it. I think we have too much open world games. I would kill an open world. I would kill Valhalla. Controversy. Okay. Valhalla. Well, but not I mean, because Valhalla well, you is bad. Kill, no, you kill, it's a franchise. You'd have to kill Ooh, Assassin's Creed. Every oh, Assassin's I have to kill the Creed. franchise? Oh, okay. Yeah, well, then I've Assassin's changed my Creed. answer. I changed my I changed my answer from SWAT. It's That's a hard question. Yeah, because what franchise is dead? Here we go. Here's Here we the go. thing. I, any here, success, I got one. No, I got one. I got one. successful I got one. franchise is still a franchise. I would trade... <laughs> I would trade That's Need true. for Speed for Midnight Club. Uh, I actually think I agree I, with see, that. See, and that one's still kind of hard because I one. think Need Need for Speeds for me are like hit and miss. There's some really good They're ones. There's some I don't care but about. Midnight Club, Midnight Club, Club two was the best. It was really good. So, but it, um, yeah, I would trade Need. For, I would go Need for Speed for Midnight Club. That's a very good one. Hmm. hmm. Clay Fighter, resurrect Clay Fighter. Oh, I didn't like. I mean, I like Clay Fighter, but. Well, I'm trying to think of old old games that don't exist. Yeah, anymore. that's the thing. That's the hard part. 
Oh, there you go. Cooper has a good one. Need for Speed for, for Project, Project Gotham, Gotham Racing. Racing. Yeah, that's a, that's solid. Do we still have Burnout? Burnout Paradise. So the Burnout franchise. Yeah, we still. When was the last Burnout game? Because I, I think it was Paradise. Paradise. Yeah. Well, because of the. Uh, is Heroes of Might and Magic still around us, Brian F? I think it is actually. Yes. When was I the last time? Mm. Uh, Super Shocker says I would feel I would kill Forza and bring back Siphon Filter. I actually don't know Siphon Filter. I don't know Siphon. Isn't filter. that like yeah. a? Um, Type it in. I believe it's a. I believe it's a. Uh, I agree with Todd Mackey. I believe it's a like a splinter cell, right? Kill Madden for NFL Blitz. <laughs> I would totally do that because I'm not a Madden player, yeah. but yeah, I yeah. loved it's NFL like a, it's Blitz. Like a, man, uh, I am on, on the PlayStation. Point. Yeah, the I'm OG. Good. Yeah, it's like a. It's like a splinter cell type game. Madden for Blitz. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, Kill there you go. Mario Kart for Twisted Metal. There you go. Well, how about this? How about this? Would you do like Ghost Recon? For Splinter Cell, Ghost Recon for Splinter Cell, because although yes. I do like the new open world style Ghost yes. Recons, I prefer the older Ghost Recons. Yes. So I am willing, I prefer, and, and it doesn't look like they're actually going to go back to that style of Ghost Recon. So I would get. I prefer the so why Ghost Recon? Because a ghost is a sni- a Ghost in the Ghost Recon was always a sniper, and now you're a well, squad. no, they were just ghosts. They're yeah, yeah, they're just ghosts. ghosts. Now you're a squad of. Your divi- your Rainbow Six division. Your Rainbow basically. Six division on a bigger scale. Yeah, division. Rainbow. S- well, no, you're Ra- Rainbow Six. Kill all cinematics in all games and bring back Command and Conquer live action yeah. cinematics. Yeah, I've always thought of that. Why uh, don't they do live action with like the know. real actors? Yeah. And you're like, hey, that's uh, what the yeah, hell? That's, uh, the guy from Clue was in them. Remember yeah. that guy? Uh, he's he was in. Uh, was that like, Michael Ironsides in it too? It was yes, like yeah. really bad green screen. Yeah, it was awesome, dude. We every act- cutscene gone. Well, and they, every like they, live action. They look right at you and they're like, "You need to get in there, Commander." Yeah. <laughs> you're like, and you're oh, like, yeah. "Oh, I need to." <laughs> yeah. These are real people that I'm saving. And it was great question. That Thank you very much. Question. Still I'm going to be thinking about that for the next week. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, There's a lot of kill cod in chat, by the way, <laughs> which makes sense. We've had a lot of cod. And now we're bringing uh, World War II to nowadays. Andrew Kulinine writes in and says, uh, I like playing games on my couch, on my TV. Do you think the Steam Deck will have a good dock and visual quality to play PC games on my TV? I play some games on a laptop that I just can't get on Xbox, but TV is for me. Thanks, bros. I initially, I don't think so. Yeah, don't you don't think so? Think so? I, I don't think so because... Why not? That thing looks like it's going to be a billion degrees. It's got to be pumping it, out something. Well, yeah, it's it's integrated with... I mean, we haven't seen any docks yet, have we? I don't think no, we have. No, not showing a dock. I, I don't think so because Steam has a lot of features where you can... I, I don't know what are they yeah, call they it. Yeah, they have like the Steam... Sh- mirror thing, play yeah, and they have yeah, like yeah. the Steam cast. The link or And they, they have the fact that you can just plug your computer into your TV and play Steam. You know what I mean? So I don't think so. I think they're focused on this being a portable gaming experience. I think, yeah, I, I, that, that's just my initial thoughts. That's what I think they're doing, just because they have other ways of you playing your Steam games library on your your TV. Yeah. I, I, I don't. They might integrate some of the features that this new Steam deck has like onto the steam platform but i i don't think they'll have a docking feature but doesn't it have like does it have a usb out or a hdmi out or usb to H- i don't know but anyway my 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 initial thoughts is i don't think so but i mean i could be wrong yeah i i agree with that thank you very much andrew cool and let's go to we got two more questions let's go to him. andrew courtney writes in about the mac was uh, microsoft acquisition rumors and he says uh, I would like to see them explore Asian companies to help build the brand there. I'd be down for Sega or Square. Uh, Bandai Namco, Square, he me- yeah, mentioned, that would be a dream acquisition. Just curious on your thoughts on that. Hey, that's what I said. Yeah, I think Spicy uh, said Bandai Namco would be huge. I think any Japanese developer would be huge. I think Square Enix would make people wail in agony. Probably, then, yeah, for then, sure. Then we'd probably get Final Fantasy VII. 14 online. Yeah. Oh, and then we get that, oh, too. Yeah. baby. Yeah. Well, <laughs> If they're even making and so right right now the new Final Fantasy, which I'm really excited for, Final Fantasy 16, right now it's rumored to be like a launch exclusive on PlayStation and then coming to PC, and then we don't really know anything about it. So that would be interesting if it was. uh, Fine, you want a launch title exclusive? We'll just buy the company. (laughs) That's a Disney move right there. Yeah, Yeah, great question, Andrew Courtney. Thank you very much for writing in Soulfinder. We'll end on this comment or question. What comic company do you guys like more, DC or Marvel? Uh, uh, 
Uh, I feel like currently they're both here's, not my here's favorite. The, here's the deal. This is like asking on any given day whether you like hamburgers or pizza. More. Hamburgers. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Let's no try question. cookies yeah. and br- brownies. Brownies. <laughs> okay. Down, no shoot. Question. Okay. I'm a guy uh, that has. I have a red shirt or a blue shirt. Sprite or Seven Up. <laughs> uh Sprite. Okay, maybe you should ask David this question. <laughs> DC. <laughs> well, because I right. just, I just, I just, I think I was more into DC comics as a child. Yeah. So D- DC, I think that has a lot well, to do with it. I do think as an adult, I relate more to DC. For instance, Wonder Woman, she just makes sense to me. <laughs> That's fair. That's... The Flash, I think they're. I think DC. Okay. Not talking comics. Not talking. Let's comic talk. Book uh, well, side. Okay. talking the movie side. Okay. Uh, clearly, clearly, Marvel, Marvel has done yeah. it correctly. DC has so has just so many th- potential great films that or TV show. Well, I guess they have the TV shows, but but films. I want hardcore Zack Snyder films of Flash. Give me Flash already. Flash would be so cool. And not uh, WB. Not yeah, yeah, like, not, not, not like CW. Not, not, or not the CW. CW I mean, sorry, is great, CW, which actually CW, I think is a genius I mean. move by them. CW is great for my wife. I don't. Well, because they do all the love triangles. I, the, the audience, the target audience is not you for Flash no, on, it's on the, CW. Yeah, Flash on CW, I, I just call it DC90210. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's all that it is. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. But I want, I want, there's so, and there's so many missed opportunities. I think there's a lot of flying under the radar. Again, I'll say this again. I think Shazam is one of the best superhero movies. That one was, I, good. it was really it was well good. done. It's in an, an interesting year. universe, and you could just go expand off of that. And they don't shy away from other superheroes being in their universe, like Batman has talked about, Superman's talked about, indeed, Superman shows up in that, in that movie at the end. It's very, very cool. Well, I think this discussion should ignore the movies. television and movies because. The comics are far more focused than the like movies and TV shows have so much um, adaptation and improv like creational uh, leniency. For example, you take a movie like Flash from CW and the, or TV show like Flash from CW, and then you go to like Daredevil on Netflix. Oh yeah, Daredevil on Netflix is one of the best series. Yeah, because it's so gritty. Or and even and, dark then, and, and then the Arrow followed it for a little while. Yeah, really I thought the too. the first season it was like okay, this show could have potential. What? So what I'm saying is there's so much more leniency yeah. in that, whereas the comics are very specific in their storytelling. I feel like yeah, they don't shift. You're not seeing drastic it's, shifts. It's about the characters, not the characters' three girlfriends. Yeah. You know, or mm-hmm. boyfriends, or whatever it is. So, I try if if I were just looking at the comics and the actual characters, I would say, well, see, my top three at any S- Spider Man, right? Spider Man. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Let me guess your other one. Spider Man, Batman. Look at the wall. Spider Man, Batman, and Wolverine. Yeah, and bat and and but then you have the villains on DC that I think are superior to the villains on Marvel. But you have so many good characters. I feel like DC is better at the realism of what a superhero would actually be like. Mm. You know, just the dark, the complexities. But Spider-Man, not talking about the movies, in the comics and in the novels and all that. I feel like Spider-Man was more aligned to relate to more people than most. Because he's having to balance not showing up on time to his girlfriend because he's saving lives because he feels like he needs to vindicate himself from his you know, uncle's death and, and all this stuff. It's and he's much, got homework. Yeah, and he's and got a homework. Job. And, and the movies have all the movies, I feel. The recent ones are better than the others, but I feel like... They skirt around that. They kind of were just kind of laughable and like zany, whereas the actual character from the comics was a much more relatable, much more realistic version of that superhero. Yeah. Does that make sense? So I don't know. I, that's why it's hard for me to say which one I like because it's they're all good. The com- comics are great. So I don't know how to say that because I, I love the grittiness of, of the Batman comics after, you know, the 80s and stuff like that. Yes. And yeah, Soul Finder, that's a good that's a that's a really good question. It's uh, a thinker. Let's take us. Let's take a we got a super chat. Let's take the super chat question. Let's go to spicy for this. This is a controversial one, but spicy, I know, has opinions because he's a huge fan. 
Did you guys hear the great news? Says Super Shocker. Thank you for the super chat, by the way. They are going to remake Indiana Jones, but this time around, Indiana will be a woman. Thoughts? Does that is that, that real? That's real. Yeah. I would have to see the movie first before. It depends on yeah, how they make on, it, right? It, so. uh, yeah, but yeah, I agree with you. It, I don't. It I don't. On how here's my it. deal. I don't mind them changing is it, characters, but if the character is true to kind of what the yeah, series like, is, or is and and then what is it? Is it like Indiana's daughter, and you're just focused, and she becomes the Laura Croft of you know? Now, Laura Croft is a really great character. Yeah, you yeah. she she has to be, she has to be. Indiana. She has to be representative. Here's of the Jones. thing. Harrison Ford is iconic. Yeah, how, can how you, do how you, can you replace, replace that? Harrison Ford? Yeah, that's what's that's that's what's going to be difficult. I don't think. And yeah, I right. don't think, I don't think current this current skill set of movie writers and uh, storytellers in the mainstream is as good as it was. Yeah, let me look. Let me look if we know who the act, who the actress is here. Let's see. So I'm just saying. The story has to be very good if it's a, if I it's think a carbon if, copy. I, I think if you were to remake Indiana Jones, you have to get someone un, and you and you keep him like indie, indie male. You have to get a no name person that we don't know because any big actor, I think, takes you out. Like I'm not looking at Indiana Jones. I'm looking at Brad Pitt, Tom Cruise. Na- name your big time actor. Will Smith. I think you got to go no name. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like uh, Daniel Craig with Bond. Daniel Craig, he wasn't a no-name, but he wasn't iconic like he is today where he's James Bond. Mm-hmm. And so you were able to put him in this role after uh, a Pierce Brosnan did did James Bond for a while. And, yeah. and I feel like you got to do the same thing with an indie. I Here's also the thing. I don't like it when they take cherished stories and ruin them. Yeah, yeah that's true. So... I have a lot of. How do you feel about Indiana Jones and the Alien Head? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was kind of a dumb story, <laughs> <laughs> and not because of like aliens, but just because it was stupid. So, I don't necessarily care if it's a male or female. I think if that's the question, I mean, because I mean, basically, Laura Croft is Indiana Jones in her yeah, own. Yeah, that's true. So, why don't they just make like a combo movie? Like, to you, let's get Matthew McConaughey ass. from Sahara, <laughs> yeah. Indiana yeah. Jones, and Laura Croft, and just make it like they're like, hey, let's team up. You know who I thought? I just don't want the story to be screwed up. Well, you don't. know who I thought in, in, and they never really did this. What's the name of the, is it the third Indiana Jones? The fourth one? The newest one? The the crappy one with the alien The skull. Crystal, uh, crystal Skull. <laughs> something in the Crystal Skull. What I did think was correct. It's like a football head. Is, I think, um, Shia LaBeouf. Has an has a Harrison Ford demeanor about him, and yeah. I think that that could have been a handoff well, that would have worked if this if writing if, and storytelling if was story better. Was good. That's that, the problem. I you have, have to you what Harrison Ford has is charisma. Well, I think and, Sha- and on being screen, able to be a jerk that's likable on screen. I think Shia LaBeouf has charisma. You yeah. like him as a yeah. Character. He is. He is in real life. He's kind of. I don't know if I'd I, be his friend. Are Actually, you kidding? I, I mean, probably, I might be his friend. He probably has the funnest nights I guess, ever, yeah, he does, yeah. ever experienced. Uh, I bet if you hung out with him with one night, well, it'll be a night you remember for the rest was of your it, life. Or you don't remember. <laughs> yeah. He was on, I can't remember. He, I think it was, it was Conan or Jimmy Fallon, but they asked him, like, so what happened when you got arrested in New York? And he was like, well, oh, yeah. and he went there and it was like, it was just one, it was a crazy night. Yeah. No, but Shia, Shia, actor, like, he has that charisma and personality. And, I do, and yeah. they, they made that smart casting those two together and they portrayed it as if it was going to be this handoff. And it never, it never came out that way. And, Instead, it was here's, a handoff to the aliens. Here's a logistical problem. I don't know if it's a logistical problem. Yeah, give it to me. Uh, Indiana was named after the dog. You know? Dude. Indy was named after the yeah. dog. Yeah. yeah. Learned that. yeah. Do you know? You can't do a fe- Like, there are words you can use for a female dog that I don't think should be it named. Wouldn't be, it wouldn't be appropriate. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, that's a logistical problem. Well, but, but she can't she, be named I think after it'll the dog. Be, well, the it'll be daughter in, of Indy. Daughter of Indiana. Like a relation, right? So, it'll be. Indy. They'll just call her Indy. Yeah. Mitch Jones. Indy. Huh. Indy Jones. Indy Jones. Well, Indiana, is that, I guess. So, Indiana, I didn't know that, actually, as the, I didn't, I've, I mean, Indiana Jones, Indiana was made, named after his Yeah, dog. and the Last Crusade, uh, at the very Connery. end of the movie where they ride out to the sunset, got lost in his own museum, and he's like, and he was named after the dog, and they all start laughing, and that's when the, that was the last line. 
Because because Sean Connery tells them that he was named after See, the Super dog. Shocker says, "I hope they don't advance the story. Just make the first remake the Junior. first Indiana oh. Jones." I think you see, could do. I think you could do remakes really interesting. Well, see, that's where you have trouble. I think what you do is you do a soft remake. Right? Okay, and that this is how you do it. Okay, so no, like for example, no. let's take Ghostbusters for an example because this is. I think there's a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it. Uh, the Ghostbusters remake was the wrong way to do it. The Ghostbusters essentially what is it three that they're making with the kids where it takes place so many years later uh it, it sounds like in the trailer like uh one of the ghostbusters was like a uncle or something you know what i mean oh, it's, okay. it's separated enough while paying it, homage actually, to the past i think a great example is actually jumanji it's it's separated enough but it still sticks to its own rules you, you know what i mean does yeah. that make sense jumanji was re- i thought Jum- i thought there's- jumanji was actually a very decent Soft reboot. There's a remake know? that, while I don't think is as good as the original Jumanji, I also don't see it as in competition with the real Jumanji. Well, and I don't, I don't see it as like they're ruining, too, I don't see it as bringing down the franchise because I do see it as like, oh, it did. This is kind of a sequel, and yeah, it, it does, well, and, and it, 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 you know, they did a good job. They created like two separate movies, like that are distinct and similar enough that it's Jumanji, but different enough that you're not comparing the movies. Yeah. Well, and and you like it because it's all like canon. You know, it's all in the same universe. The canon and the canon not in Like, I was almost like, oh, man, is there going to be a, like, never, never mind. So, Indiana Jones. Uh, or, chat just says, or just come up with an original movie IP. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess you can do that. Right, let's yes. end on that. Yes. <laughs> I am for yeah. that. That's actually, yeah. I think we should just have more creative writers. That is actually my issue with Disney. I hate, I hate. Do not give me. We're going to take this story and just make it in real life. Those original story. You're never going to compete with those were those are not only classics. Those are some of the best storytelling of all time. Talking about like those, Lion King and stuff like that. Yeah, Lion King Aladdin. with 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 well, I just, where I, they were concerned about getting the best singers and the best actors and the best storytellers, not about saying, "Oh, this girl from Harry Potter would be really good in this movie, even though she can't sing. Not even close to what the original Belle, a theatrical professional singer, can do. Like, don't do that. Just stop doing that. Disney, yeah. give me new IPs. I think it's why everybody really enjoyed. What's the new movie about Dungeons and Dragons? The m- new movie about Dungeons. The new and movie about Dungeons. Yeah, that's Dragons. a Disney movie. That's like Dungeons and Dragons. the brothers really into Dungeons oh, and Dragons. Oh, oh yeah, uh, the oh, Pixar. Onward, Onward. Onward. That's I think that's why movie. Onward was so refreshing for a lot of people because it was like that was ah, a good movie, that something good. new and different. Yeah, and that one yeah, wasn't think, real life. I think the problem with the yeah. Lion King remake is, and I don't want to sound like a broken record, but I think it was the art style that. Yeah, shot everybody, everybody says that because no, no offense, like <laughs> a real warthog is a very ugly animal. And when you put a human voice on a real-looking warthog, it doesn't compute in your mind properly. You, you know, it yeah. just it, everything feels. Well, also, off. there's a. It's really hard to compete with the singers. Like, and you're doing a direct comparison because it's a smarter way to do it yeah. is to do like what they did the real life version Cruella. Cruella is actually interesting. I've not seen that one yet. Yeah, Cruella is actually pretty good, and it's interesting because it's not just copying 101 Dalmatians. So I'm not comparing it. It's a it's a story. Prequel. It's a story that enhances 101 Dalmatians. That's what they need. If you're gonna do it, you got to do this like this shift, this difference here. That well, don't screw up. Don't do a scene by scene just in real life. Like my problem because I'm gonna compare you to Academy Award winning Best Picture movies when the Academy Awards actually pick the best pictures. <laughs> yeah. I know, and the Tim Rice and Elton John and like the whole thing. That <laughs> yeah. is that a Lion King. I swear was ahead of its time. It's one of the greatest movies it of was, all time. It was the, super, top the super Bowl of or cast. what? Yes, exactly. Brian F. Or what Old Hook movie did for Peter Pan? Exactly. Ah, uh, that was a good movie. Exactly. Another my problem. Re- another... My problem with Aladdin is they used for the first forty. It's it's not a problem with the story necessarily. Sure. It's the camera work, and the acting, and the storytelling for the first forty five minutes. They used an anamorphic lens for forty five minutes, and it was there was no wide shots, close. It was all tight within an alley for the first four. I didn't know where I was for forty five minutes. But it wasn't Agrabah. It, it was <laughs> so annoying as a photographer to have to sit through that garbage. And look around and go, holy crap! Please stop do like yeah. But wide you, shots show where we are. Yeah, but tight you, shots. Yeah, sh- but but you and twelve people notice that. <laughs> True, but still, that's, I actually didn't mind. The camera work was 
terrible. I actually didn't mind Aladdin. One of the few... I think I think the problem with Aladdin is when Jafar. You, no, when no, no, not Jafar. When you Robin Williams at his best is genie. And how do you compete? How well, do you see, actually, yeah, well, funny Will story. Smith did I actually, okay. no, yeah. which Will, Will Smith, Smith did a good job. But good I actually, of, there's I, not a direct comparison. They did a good job with that. I, but it's still. I actually heard that they offered Will Smith the role, and he, he said, said no. no. And yeah. he says, "I'm not following that up." Yeah. How do you? <laughs> like, how do you? And I think they finally convinced. Him. I do think he did a decent job. Well, and they did a good job of not making a direct comparison. Yeah. yeah. Having said that. When you watch Aladdin, the cartoon, he's, he's the main character. He's the oh. he steals the show. You, you know yeah. why, right? Oh yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's why I said that's a Disney move earlier on the show <laughs> yeah. because they they wrote the character for Robin Williams. That whole script was written. Well, and didn't he like not write like no, didn't, wasn't he, the script like two lines and they said go have at it. Basically, yeah, but everything was written for him, and he said no because he was filming filming Fern Gully, or he was doing the voice acting for the cartoon yeah. Fern Gully, and so Disney buys Fern Gully's warehouse or studio that they're in, and and kick him out. That's hilarious. They're, that's like a Disney move, man, to <laughs> buy hilarious. the building they're working in, and then and then evict him. Yeah, him here right you go. Right, Ryan H says '90s Disney is greater than any Disney since then. I because they I were ruthless. That was like their. <laughs> that was like the golden era. Yeah, it was. Now I think you're. I think what we have now with Disney is quantity. What we had back then was quality. Oh, absolutely for sure. Yeah, there's no question. It's uh, it's definitely not quality writing. Go. Yeah. Yeah. And and what's so sad, this is my problem, and you said, well, you and 12 people would notice this. Yeah. Ten years ago, I could watch a movie with my wife that she really liked that I didn't like because it just didn't appeal to me, but I could focus on you camera could, angles. You could enjoy the professionalism. And, and just, just... The next level. Li- I'm, I just think, oh my gosh, how did they get that lighting in there? That's really fantastic. Oh, this is a good shot. I like how they presented the scene. I would look at the movie in that light, and I could sit through any movie... Aladdin, I could not, because I just could not. Well, get I think past. all the best talent now is in is in. They're tele- either is in television. They're quarantined because they're all over sixty. But I think they've moved to Netflix, HBO yeah. Max, television. I mean, that's that's the way. For instance, Harry Potter. Yes, it's iconic. Yeah, it's okay if you read the books. But Harry Potter as a series would be amazing. Would be way better than the. Hey, movies. speaking of Harry Potter, Hogwarts Legacy. I can't wait for that game. Yeah, that's how, that looks from what we've seen. It looks fantastic. Yeah, well, does it? Because the idea of it looks fantastic, but the, it, the, the okay, it the, doesn't look the that select, good. The select I think it looks great. Yeah. Look really fun, and then knowing what I'm that excited it is. to go to okay. the class. Okay, okay, okay. That's <laughs> there's <laughs> one. Open, the idea of it looks yeah. awesome. <laughs> there's one open world game that I'm ready for. I have about one a year that I'm good on. Yeah, no, I'm excited. When is, for that when one. is that? Next year. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, when next year? Is I, we think, like I think Q1, it's Q2? I think it's somewhat early next year, but within Q two. Yeah, no, I, I'm really excited for that one. What if that? What if? Okay, what if that Harry Potter ends up being like a Grand Theft Auto <laughs> slash Witcher? <laughs> you in, can do whatever no, you in want. Open world greatness. How I think adding adding the Harry Potter's you know theme well, and the world universe on top is of it cool. would, would makes it. Like let's say it's just as good as Witcher and just as good as like a Grand Theft Auto Five, as far as game game mechanics. I think it being in the world of of Harry Potter elevates it. I just think the universe of Harry Potter is really cool. Yeah, that's just what I'm magic. Going that's what I'm school, saying. If it's know, equally yeah. as good as those, I think it becomes one of the best RPGs of all and time in the world I, because I, that elevates. I it. I hope they bring back Flipendo. Yeah. If you guys have never played the original uh, Harry Potter's, you could YouTube search Flipendo, Harry Potter Flipendo. It'll come right up. It's the greatest. It's great. Okay, one last thought before we leave here since we're on this. Basically, can I just can I just yeah, clarify go, go something? Ahead. Yeah. I just think the talent is the traditional like camera or Hollywood talent. Yeah. I think that's where a lot of the talent and we're seeing it slowly start to fade away. That's what I was trying to get yeah, at. Yeah. I think that uh, they were so good. Cam- the camera crew, the story, you know, the storytellers, yeah. the, Movie, the t- movies, movies yeah. they were so good. And I think that talent is now retiring, essentially. Well, and I think we're starting to see that. Well, no, I think I think they go where money is. Money always gets True. you the okay. best talent. Uh, okay, true. Because look at look at the core. But, but there's a lot of money in 
Look at Dare- what's being. Look, look, at, yeah, look at Daredevil on Netflix. Look at the camera work in the fight scenes in Daredevil. Yeah, even like down, look at the don't you like the camera angles of Downton Abbey as well? Yeah, they did actually really yeah. good. That's why I could watch that show with my wife. <laughs> like, yeah. It was excellent. They did a great job. Then yeah, they, see, yeah. So that's what I was trying to say. Yeah, I was trying to say that it's just the the time and pl- the time I. You had to work really hard to get into those powerful uh, positions of leadership in movie making, and I don't think that is as hard anymore because every there's so many. It's a lot easier to make art than it used to be, and so, I don't know. I I don't know. What, I'm trying to say that I think the generation of talent is slowly slipping away a little bit. I think it's. I think it's. From movies, I think it's moving. Moving, okay, yeah. that's fair. That's that's what I think. I think it's moving to online streaming yeah. of series. I think that's where you're seeing really good camera work and stuff. Um, I was gonna say something before we left. Dang it, I forgot. <laughs> tell us, tell us about how awesome your uh, your, Twitter your Twitter is right now. <laughs> how cool you are. <laughs> so oh, I really that. forgot what I was gonna. I really forgot what I was gonna say. It was uh, gonna well. be really good. Oh, oh yeah, okay. no, here it is. Since we're on this topic, l- leading out here, last thing, Wheel of Time, Amazon Prime, spicy, thoughts? Uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting how they do that show. Uh, for those of you who have never read The Wheel of Time, it's a fantasy novel series that is probably one of the largest ever. It's 14, I think it's 14 books. It was originally written by Robert Jordan for the first 11 books. He unfortunately passed away and gave the torch to Brandon Sanderson, who is a very well-known author. Um, It's a really long but very good series with some of the most iconic characters in fantasy writing. I think when you talk about the... You probably think, you know, Tolkien as the king of... You know, fantasy, but Robert Jordan would be. I don't know what you'd give him because he would have the biggest library <laughs> in, yeah. in in the well, palace. I, I would say Tolkien is the father of fantasy. the father of fantasy. Yeah. I don't know what you would call Robert Jordan because the books were so vast and so they were all so large. And there's it's a huge series, so it's a really it's a really good story. Um, you can milk this story for I don't even know how many seasons, and I'm sure Amazon will. And they will. So um, it's a really cool story about uh, you know magic and all that stuff. And it's I'm really excited. They they do a lot of cool things with with uh, a lot of the the characters. I think one of the best characters in any story ever. I was telling Jordan this is from that that book series. Mm-hmm. So I'm excited to see what they do once again. Hopefully they don't screw up. Yeah, I'm concerned. My only concern. Yeah. Is you have direct competition, and it's going. You're going to be compared to The Witcher, Be- because The Witcher's coming out this crit this at around the same time for these next series. Sure. And so it'll be like a. It'll be like. Well, I'll, I'll give you an example. I think The Witcher hurt Star Wars. Uh, what what's the the Mandalorian? Because they came out around the same time, and there was this instant comparison. Like, well, The Witcher's just better. Yeah, I watched The Mandalorian, and then The Witcher made me not finish it. I yeah, eventually and I finished think that it. That, and so that's my only concern. You need to, you need to, they need to be, because I, I agree. I think the story is better than The Witcher story, actually, in my opinion, for Wheel of Time. I just hope the storytelling via a, a series is as good as what they've done on The Witcher in I think, Netflix. I think those two are, would be not competitors, but symbiotic with each other. I don't think they would compete with each other. I like both a lot. I don't, yeah, I, yeah, well, but no, no. But what I'm saying is, I like both Star Wars and The Witcher, and I was watching them simultaneously. But when one is clearly better than the other, my time goes to what's what's better. Like my focus gets shifted to what's what's better. That's that's what I'm saying. Like I think your direct competition, it has to be as good as as The Witcher because the second season's coming out around the same time. Well, I think, I mean, The Witcher was obviously for a more adult audience. Yeah. There's not, The Witcher was gritty, you know, it's just, this whole story about it was just, it's a it's a rough place to live, which, granted, this world, uh, Will of Time, is, I guess, in a way, but it's it's not as gritty. It's not as dark. Yeah. So I think maybe your audience, maybe that would want to watch a good, story like that that doesn't want to have 
<laughs> you know, just random orgies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every uh, all the time, maybe a little bit more family friendly. I think this would be that, and it's it's not kid by any mean, but yep. it's not it's not HBO'd by any mean. You know, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. it's a really good story, and there's plenty of good characters on it's, the character cast. In the books is so diverse. It is a. Gr- it's probably why Amazon picked it up. It's really just a good story on a lot of different walks yep. of life, and and you I know. just hope the show is good. That's yeah. That's, that's it's a really that's good what story. It has. Don't he man it? Yeah. They well they can't. If they he man this, they're not going to have fourteen seasons, fourteen books worth. It's just going to be. I wonder if Brandon Sanderson's consulting on it. I'm sure he would. He would be probably no. He would probably be part owner of the IP because his uh, Robert Jordan's wife, I believe, is still alive and she's the owner of the IP. And she, along with Robert Jordan, it's really sad. So what happened was after book eleven, Robert Jordan got cancer, I believe, and he didn't have long to live. And they contacted Robert Jordan, and Robert Jordan consulted with. Uh, Brandon Sanderson for like the last three weeks of his life because this is this is Robert Jordan's like yeah, it's his it's life's his, work it's his whole life yeah and it's his whole life's work and um and Brandon Sanderson was known to say that he was just completely honored at the time and everything like that so um yeah, I the, think the he's got beca- Brandon Sanderson oh, too yeah. I know well I mean he he has well he was already well, established and had cojones but yeah I mean he's read he's written the stormlight series which I think is one of the best out there he's written a lot of really good books you so want to talk about a series built for TV mo- yeah. or movies the stormlight the first yeah. scene the first couple scenes is a matrix movie <laughs> yeah anyways to to less to dial it back a little bit I'm excited because I really like the story I think they did a I think it could be done very well, I, you know, as everything. I hope it's just not ruined. Um, there's a lot of ways to ruin the story, and so that's a that's a good fear, but I'm optimistic to answer your question. Let's, very good. Let's play the outro music because I have one final thought, and I don't want to get stuck <laughs> debating it. <laughs> okay. we'll, hit the, we'll hit that outro music. Okay, ready? My final thought. We talked about monopolies, Microsoft ac- acquisitions. Here's one that we didn't consider that I think Microsoft has shown a propensity to go after. Twitch. I don't. They. I don't think so. You don't I think, think so? so? They tried with Bean Mixer. Yeah. No. But Twitch not is already successful. If Amazon doesn't want it, why not take it off their hands? See you guys. <laughs> <laughs>